This is the title track, Bigfoot, named after Melinda's big feet. She says they're big. I think they look size ten and a half to her body. Uh, great. Um, let me rephrase that. So they're great feet. Bigfoot. Um, Bigfoot. Um, I'm wearing a le- like a leather shoe, dancing on sand on my wooden board, which sand dance is this a tradition under the umbrella of jazz dance, tap dance. Um, and I knew when we first started recording that we would include this texture, so it ended up appearing here. And what are you doing filter-wise to, to, to darken? Your, I mean, it's, there's so much stuff going on. There's a lot of stuff going on, yeah, too, yeah. Going to on. filter to, out highs and stuff like that. And to put low end in it. And to put low end in yeah, it. Yeah, so Which is what we're always looking for in tap dance. It's like, we want more low, low end. end. Yes. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, one of the first discussions we had was, even Melinda was like, people are going to get so tired. And, and this was a big I thought you were about to crack a joke. Go ahead. You know, and, and Pete too, like like we don't want to hear tapping all the time. Yes. That that was like one of the big decisions we made up front. Yes. Like, how do we take what she does with her feet and get a variety of sounds so that we're not just hearing the classic tapping sound. Yeah. Um and like incorporate it into into the music. The music in a way where I feel like when I've recorded a lot before or at least perform live, it's like tap is just kind of put on top of the music. Yeah, you're the feature. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So and not so much um involved, you know, in the composing and the arranging as well. So it was a great learning process for me, for sure. Um and you played two the Jupiter. So the, I think the Jupiter right. Oh, was that after you? Or was that after No no I Or did you I just... played to the Jupiter. I played to Because it sounds like you're that's playing. Is this the Jupiter here? Yeah, that's the Jupiter. This is yeah. the old Jupiter uh, 8. Jupiter 8. Uh, with an arpeggiator. So so the motor, the rhythmic motor is being, this time is being, being yeah, so there was divided this by the Jupiter. Jupiter, which is low, and then there is a double time. Yeah, I played to the low one. Yeah. yeah. So they're both down at the that's same time. Like, have some kick drum hits, I see. Yes. Every once in a while. Just on like ones. But that's what. Yeah. Oops. Right, that's the rhythm section. Um, much later, we thought about guests to bring in, and one of the main people we wanted to bring in was Daphne Chen um, on violin and viola. So I just think on the day that she came, I came up with this part for her. Jupiter 4, which is in the other, it's an earlier version of the Jupiter 8, but analog, four voice analog. And there's a Moog modular playing bass. Bass, which I, after learning my, my own improvised piano part, I would lay down 
a bass part, which is on this instrument here, from 1972. In 1972, the Moog Modular... Moog. Ma is it Moog? <laughs> it's Moog. In 1972, the Moog Modular freaked out people with this ability to... I have to die of anything. <laughs> and um, it also... Um, I know nothing about this thing. Um, he sets up a bass sound for me, and uh, it's just got a huge sound. And the wires. Ah, some more string parts that we just sort of talked about what we wanted. So yeah, this is the bridge. Oh, there are leaves. Leaves, oh. Brought in leaves from nature, and then she tapped on the leaves. Here it comes. No, no, no. no. I put leaves yeah. in a bag oh. and I crunched them. Oh, and this is where somebody said, "Sounds like Bigfoot." That's leaves. Leaves in a bag. I didn't give myself credit for leaves on the album. Oh no. Uh -oh. Leave all the vinyl people immediately. <laughs> we have an edit. But Daphne, she's layering herself here too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there it is. This is the Jupiter 8. Oh, that's the Jupiter 8 now, yeah, the base. With the, with the mode modular. It's so dry. Now, something's way slowed down here. The so, rap that. Me. My feet. Oh, yeah. That's my feet. When you hear yes. the. The feet are on tape. Yeah. It went to the yeah. tape machine. Over this here. is when we got the idea for the name of the song. Right. That's her slowed down, what, an octave? Octave, yeah. yeah. Um, so that's. We put her feet on that tape deck, went down an octave, recorded it back in, and that's part of the percussion track. This works really well with that the original Bigfoot video that I found. Yes. Online. Did you see that video I made? You know the He's old honest. National Geographic footage of, of Sasquatch? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah I, put, put, I put this to that. Oh, okay. put this it's really out. good. Yeah. Um, Anyways, that's, uh, yeah, Melinda. Oh, tap. Hand on water. Hand on yes. water. Yes. Don't want to get too much water in the studio. Yeah. Um, and then and the feet. House feet. Yeah. I definitely bought a baby pool to bring to the studio and tap dance in, and then was like, that's a horrible idea. So I just did some drumming. Yeah, and it takes us out. That's strange. Thunder. Yeah. Yeah. And that became, yeah, that's Bigfoot. Bigfoot. Um, very cinematic, isn't it? It is. Um, we have a really cool visual that Charlie shot. Yeah. And oh yeah. You can right. check it on the Color Field Records YouTube page. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> All right.